So in today's video, I wanted to focus on a quick tip, which is you shouldn't always be using stopping power. And I thought I'd bring this up because I watch a lot of streams of people playing Modern Warfare and they're picking up stopping power on the regular, putting in their gun, and then they wonder why they miss their shots. In case you guys didn't know, the recoil gain is significant from equipping stopping power and it's not always beneficial on the damage side. In most cases, it will be beneficial, obviously with the buff to them or the reverting of the issues that it had where the headshots weren't actually doing extra damage. At least they fix that part. So you get upper chest headshots. It will deal. Usually it's going to be a couple shots less. And obviously with certain weapons, it's going to be significantly less shots to kill. So we're going to be taking a look at how that recoil pattern looks because I've gotten plenty of comments when I'm live streaming over on Twitch. They're like, well, why didn't he pick up the stopping power? Why didn't he pick up the stopping power? I'm like, I don't pick it up in these guns. I'd pick it up in one of these other guns. So we'll take a look at a couple meta guns or most popular weapons. We'll kind of see how that comparison works. If you enjoy the video, learn something new, make sure you hit that like button. Go on today's video is 2000 likes. If you're brand new, want to find your way back for more Call of Duty content, just make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. Also a quick reminder, my G Fuel code is still boosted to 30% all the way until the end of July. So if you want a, an alternative to energy drinks because you don't want all that sugar, or maybe you're just not a fan of coffee, but you want to get your caffeine somehow, go ahead and check out G Fuel. They have a bunch of variety packs in case you want to sample a bunch of flavors and see which ones you like. I think there's over like 35 flavors, so I'm sure they got something you're going to like. Let's go ahead and get in the breakdown. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the first aspect of stopping power. Let's go ahead and equip it. And you're going to see that it doesn't do the entire magazine. So we're going to go ahead and fire off 30 bullets. And you'll see the color of the ammo change. To the regular ammo that means you're out of the stopping power rounds so typically stopping power is going to give you 30 bullets or one mag depending on the weapon with sometimes with pistols you can kind of get away with it the hollow point rounds on the striker you're going to get like 30 bullets even though it's only 12 in the mag so there's some exceptions but you're usually going to get 30 bullets or one mag if you're talking about marksman rifles sniper rifles things like that so we'll look at the, the normal recoil pattern for 60 bullets with this, and then we'll go ahead and see how that changes when you put the stopping power rounds in. So here we go. So we can see how that recoil pattern looks. Let's go ahead and equip these. So the first 30 bullets are gonna be with those stopping power rounds. I'm gonna go ahead and strafe over so the distance is the exact same. You guys can replicate these things in your own test lobby. If you have the, the full version of the game, you can go into a private match. So I'm gonna try and line it up with that and then we'll go ahead and fire the weapon. I didn't do anything different. <laughs> um, I think anyone with common sense can tell that there is a huge difference between this and this. And this is obviously with an optimal class setup. If you had no attachments, it would even be more dramatic um, between them. Um, but you can see literally it's more than doubling that recoil pattern. The space between these is they're almost touching all the way through. And this one has considerable gaps. If I go to another popular weapon like the Bruin, we'll go ahead and see this similar difference. All right. So now I'm going to show you a side by side with the Bruin. Here's the first one with the regular 60 round mag. We'll go ahead and start it right here. It goes up a little bit to the left and then up again. And then now it's stopping power rounds. The first 30 bullets should be a little bit uh, higher and then we'll kind of see how this bounces. And we already went through the 30. And you can see right here, the comparison, this one even started a bit lower. Like I actually ended up starting a little bit lower. I thought there was another dot here because of these marks, but you could see how much further it's stretching and how much more recoil you are getting. Um, this carries over. Um, the only time that maybe it makes sense to use this in a very low recoil weapon. So this could be an example like a P90, MP7. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the comparison for some of those lower recoil weapons and see how those are still a little bit more manageable especially if it's a little bit closer range, which where most of those engagements should be taking place, especially if you're using those weapons for close quarters engagements. So this is gonna be the MP7 class, and what I'm gonna do is it kinda goes up and to the right, and we'll be able to see this pretty clearly. So I'm gonna fire right here and see where the bullets go. Obviously it's a 60 round mag, and then once we equip the stopping power rounds, we'll be able to see uh, the, the extra bullets. So you can kinda see it starts right here, goes up and to the right, and then has a considerable increase. So for the same one, we're looking about right here, 
strafe over and then now let's go ahead and look at this recoil pattern for the first 30 bullets should be a little bit more extreme so you can kind of see it caps a little bit over here but as far as recoil goes it shoots up considerably and look at the gaps between these first bullets um and then it's pretty evident that stopping power is increasing that um, I did a video kind of breaking down some of the outliers of where maybe you want to be using stopping power. This would be a good option just because it has very manageable recoil. Because even with stopping power, and I'm pretty far away, I can pretty much control my shot. It has a little bit more bounce to it, but it's still relatively easy to control. And we get a nice tight spread. Obviously, if you have aim assist, that's going to help on controller. If not, if you're on keyboard and mouse, keyboard and mouse, you just drag kind of down. This is one of the easiest recoil patterns to control. So this could be a good one. Same thing with the M13, it's pretty manageable, goes up and to the right, you can kind of hold down. So there are a couple different exceptions there. I wouldn't use stopping power in any sniper rounds. Um, it's good in shotguns, it can actually give you a one shot kill if you are close enough within that uh, lethality where it would take two shots. But in general, you're going to have more recoil so if you're planning to put in your long range weapon, it's gonna be a little bit less effective, uh, but it could cut down the shots to kill. Usually it was about a two to three shot difference when we were looking at most of the rifles and, and LMGs and stuff that people would use in Warzone. One of the biggest exceptions was the M13. It dropped it from like a 12, 13 shot down to about a five, six if you hit the body. Um, which is a pretty huge distance and it's gonna feel like they didn't even have body armor and that's like normal TTK for regular multiplayer. So hopefully you guys found the video helpful, learned something new. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back for more Call of Duty content, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. You'll be able to find your way back pretty easy. Our Discord, the community Discord is up over 12,000 members. So if you're looking to link up with more people in the community, go for those wins or maybe kind of party up with just people instead of randoms, I would definitely check that out. Link in the description. And a reminder, my G Fuel code is 30% off until the end of the month. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.